Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Ruchi Agarwal. I welcome you to web-based programming class. Today's topic is arrays. So we will be discussing about introduction to arrays, initialization of an array, types of array, iterating through an array. So first let's discuss about what is an array. So array is a data structure that is stores one or more similar types of value in a single value. It's a collection of related values stored under a common name. Examples of array could be list of items, marks scored in each level of a game or monthly sales of a product. If you want to store 100 numbers, then instead of defining 100 variables, it's easy to define an array of 100 length. So array comprises of elements where each element is a key value pair. For example, price of different ice cream flavors can be stored in an array as a key value pair. Key has to be unique within an array, but values can repeat. A particular ice cream flavor can occur only once in the array. Like almond punch cannot be repeated in the array with the same or different price, but two different ice cream flavors can have the same price. So, like almond punch or choco dip can have the same, pr same price. And array key has to be only a scalar value, like string, number, boolean. Whereas value of an array can be both scalar, string, number, boolean, and non-scalar, array or other values. So, PHP interpreter treats array with numeric keys and arrays with string keys identically. Generally, arrays with only numeric keys are referred as numeric, indexed, or ordered arrays, and with string keys as associative arrays. In other words, an array whose keys are something other than position of the values within the array is called associative array. We will see associative array in the future slide. So, how to create and initialize an array? So, we create an array by following way dollar array name and in then square bracket you write key equal to value for example if we have the array name ice cream menu and the key is choco chip so and the value is 290 so this is how you can create and initialize the value of an array here the array name is ice cream menu and key is the choco chip and value is 290. Second way is array name square bracket equal to value. So we can write dollar items square bracket equal to pen. So here the array name is items and you are initializing pen. Value is pen. So PHP automatically increments array key numbers when the array is created or adds element to an array with the empty bracket syntax. The empty bracket adds an element to the array. The element's index key will be one more than the largest index available in the array at that time. And if the array does not exist, the empty bracket adds an element with an index key of zero. Third is array language construct. So here you put array, then the key, then equal and this sign equal to value. So arrays are generally created using array construct, array key value pair. So you put like ice cream menu, this is the name of the array, equal to array and then whatever key is there and then value, choco chip 290, almond punch 275. So this key is optional, when the key is omitted the array is assigned a numeric key automatically starting with the index 0 from the first element onwards. So it is up to you. 
how you want to create and initialize an array you can create empty array also marks marks is equal to array and then marks at the index position 0 you are putting 65 so 65 value will be assigned at at the zero index position you can access the elements of an array by dollar array name key format like you want to print dollar ice cream menu choco chip so it will print the value of choco chip index if there is numeric index so you can print dollar marks zero so the value at the zeroth position will be printed you can modify the elements of the array also suppose you want to modify the price of choco chip ice cream so you can put dollar array name ice cream menu the key that you want to change choco chip equal to 30 so your value will be changed suppose when you are attempting to modify if invalid key is given php will not throw an error instead it, it will be considered as a new element suppose you have put uh, in choco chip the c is capital here it is a small and you put c is capital so in that case it will consider at a as a new element and it will add to the array so now the uh, your array will contain two ice cream in the name of choco chip one is a small and other is capital you can find the size also count function is used to find the number of elements in the array so you can find the size of an array also if you want to print an array in a readable way so for that you use the print underscore r function and when you pass an array it will print its content in a readable way now coming to types of arrays there are three different kinds of array and each array value is accessed using an id which is called the array index so first is the numeric array an array with the numeric index values are stored and accessed in linear fashion in case of associative array array with strings as index this stores element value in association with key values rather than in a strict linear fact order so you can put the string as a index we will see in the future slides we will see examples also coming to dimensional array multi-dimensional array array containing one or more arrays and values are accessed using multiple indices so array within an array we will see this also with the help of example in the future slide so let's discuss about numeric array first numeric array can store numbers string and any object but their index will be represented by numbers by default array index starts from zero in php array is used to create array inside this you can pass multiple values separated by comma so the syntax is array in bracket you write value 1 comma value 2 and so on now coming to iterating array elements so the easiest way to iterate through each element of an array is with for each the for each construct executes the block of code once for each element in an array so the syntax is for each dollar array as dollar key equal to whatever value and then block block of code for iteration so here dollar array will represent the array to be iterated dollar key is optional and when specified it contains the currently iterated array keys value 
value scheme which can be any scalar value depending on the keys type and dollar value holds the array value for the given key key value using the and for the dollar value indicates that any change made in the dollar variable while iteration will be reflected in the original array also i'll see with the help of example so following is the example showing how to create an access numeric array so here see php first method to create an array dollar number numbers this is the name of the array you put the array bracket and the values 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 now for each dollar numbers as dollar value echo value is dollar value so what will be the value that will be printed first first time it will print value is 1 then 2 3 4 so all the four four or five whatever values you will put those values will be printed then second method to create array dollar numbers 0 is equal to 1 so you are mentioning the index position so at the first position o any one will be stored then at the first position two will be stored and so on and again you are using for each dollar numbers as dollar value echo value is dollar val so it will print value is o any one then value is two two three four and so on this is how you can create an access numeric array let's see one more example loop through an numeric indexed array you have to find the sum of given array so here what we are doing dollar sum is equal to 0 you are initializing one variable sum to 0 then dollar arr equal to array 10 20 30 40 50 50 so name of array is arr and you are assigning five values from 10 to 50 then you are using for loop you are initializing the counter variable to 0 and then you are putting a condition dollar i is less than count dollar arr so count dollar arr it will give you the number of elements in the array so it will check whether i is smaller than or equal to 5 in this case then i plus plus this is an increment operator and then you are putting dollar sum is equal to dollar sum plus dollar arr in square bracket you are putting dollar i so what first iteration what it will do sum is equal to dollar sum is equal to 0 plus dollar arr 0 zero. zeroth position means first position the value is 100 so it will print 0 plus 10 is equal to 10 So ten will be assigned to sum, and iteratively it will it will add all the five variables. Iteratively it will occur for five times, and it will print the finally it will print the sum of the given array, dollar sum. So the output will be printed. this is how you can loop through a numeric indexed array and it will print the sum of the given array let's see one more example we have dollar call this is array name array blue red green white and pink so these strings you are passing to an array now for i dollar i is equal to 0 then dollar i is less than count dollar call i plus plus so similarly again here count function is will be counting the number of elements in a given array and it will print dollar call dollar i so dollar 
first time in the first iteration dollar i will have the zero value so at the zeroth position or you can say that the first position zeroth in index the value is blue blue will be printed then again it will iterate it will move to the next index position red and it will print red green white pink and so on likewise and it will print the desired output so this is how we can print the values of the array using for loop if you want to print all the colors names stored in an array so you have to you have to assign the values in an array and then using for loop you can iterate and print the values now coming to associative array so the associative array are very similar to numeric array in the terms of functionality but they are different in terms of their index associative array will have their index as a string so that you can establish a strong association between key and values to store the salaries of the employees in an array a numerically indexed array would not be the best choice instead you could use the employee name as the keys in our associative array and the value would be their respective salary let's see the example here your array name is salaries and the key is the name of the employee suppose mohammed is the name of the employee and the value is high likewise dollar salaries kadir this is key value value is medium then again zara you are assigning low so here you want to print the salaries so eco salary of mohammed is dollar salaries mohammed so how it will be executed it will print the salary of mohammed dollar salaries this is the salary name and here the index is the string not the numeric value so here the value will be high salary of mohammed is high similarly salary of kadir is dollar salaries kadir so what is the value medium it will print salary of kadir is medium similarly salary of zara is salary zara dollar salary zara which is value is low so salary of zara is low coming to multi dimensional array so multi dimensional array are arrays whose elements values are arrays in other words array within an array is called multi dimensional array here in multi dimensional array each element in the main array can also be an array each element in the sub array can be an array and so on value in the multi dimensional array are accessed using multiple index we'll see an example you have to create a two dimensional numeric array and find the sum so here dollar arr name of array is arr you are putting array and then inside the main array you are again putting a array 10 10 10 again one more array 10 10 10 again third array array 10 10 10 you want to print the sum so you are assigning one variable s is equal to 0 s1 is equal to 0 you are using for loop for dollar i is equal to 0 this is a counter variable so putting the condition i is less than dollar i is less than 3 i plus plus you are using one inner loop also for j with a different variable counter variable dollar j is equal to 0 dollar j is less than 3 dollar j plus plus and now you want to print eco dollar arr dollar i dollar j 
So initially, what will be the value? I is zero, J is zero. So zero zero. And then what you are doing? Dollar S is equal to dollar S plus dollar A R R dollar I dollar J. So you are printing the value of first position. That is ten at zero 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 first row first column. So likewise, it will iterate and it will print all the values of the multi-dimensional array and it will sum up and in the last it will print the sum of the array which here in this case is 19. This is how we can define multi-dimensional array and access the elements of multi-dimensional array. Let's see one more example. We have one array marks Array name is marks. You are putting array in bracket. You are assigning Mohammed and then again array. Again, you are putting physics 35, maths 30, chemistry 39. So you want to assign marks of Mohammed of three different subjects. Then again, for Kadir. You are again creating an array for physics, maths, and this is associative array. Example of multidimensional associative array. Likewise, you did for Muhammad, Kadir, and Zara. Now you want to access multidimensional array values. Eco marks of Muhammad in physics. Eco dollar marks. You put the name Muhammad. This is the key Muhammad and the value will be 35 but the second index position is physics so Mohammed physics so marks of Mohammed in physics will be 35 that will be printed similarly you put here uh, just see you are not mentioning the numeric index value you are just mentioning the string in the index position so eco marks for Kadir and max eco dollar marks Kadir max so max marks will be printed similarly eco marks for zara in chemistry so eco dollar marks zara chemistry which will be 39 that will be printed that's all thank you have a nice day